Welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather. This week we're getting straight into the projects and this is our first thrift flip. I got this container from Goodwill for $2.99 and I am just covering it in two coats of Waverly Fern. And it covers pretty well. It is a very slick surface, but the good thing this is a chalked paint so it's meant to be on surfaces like this. One thing I did do to make sure, because I tried to kind of rub the edges and the red came through, and I do not want any, and I do not want any of that. So I sprayed it with a clear coat of a matte Rust-Oleum just to kind of set the green in place. And after that, this project was available for some DIY white wax. This is my first experience with DIY products and I'm gonna say so far so good. So I'm just taking the white wax and putting it on the green. I know I'm dulling the color but this is going in my house. Um, my kids tend to collect candy from, from different holidays so any of the pre-wrapped candy is going to go in here so it's all in one spot. That's my plan. So I needed to dull down the color a little bit, but I'm going with the color, so that's progress. Anyway, I'm just putting the white wax on and then taking um, a paper towel and wiping it back. So you can kind of see the raised areas. Let me know what you think of this in the comments below. Would you have left it the full green? Or do you prefer the white wax method? Next, these wine bricks or wine coolers, I saw them everywhere for $2.99 a piece. And apparently, I collected five throughout my treks, so it's time to do something about this. As you can see, this one is kind of different textures, so I decided to just paint this one white. A white wax, I tried it on the different textures, but it did not um, cover evenly, so I just Put white and a little bit on the inside so if you fill it with something it look finished. This little um, tulip was 99 cents. I am taking off these old-fashioned ribbon and in the clip I'm trying to do a white wax to see if the blue will come through but I did not like that so I just painted them white and this particular one I am using just a Waverly white wax which it's really a cream wax, but I wanted to see the difference in some of these. So I use different finishes on them. So this is just straight Waverly white wax over a terracotta look, trying to go for like a French country finish and letting the white just stick in the letters and um, in the crevices. So 
So just trying to figure out ways to upcycle these canisters that I seem to find everywhere. This next one was a little bit different texture, so I was going to go for a waxed look over it. So it's from Italy, but there was a lot of markings, so I need to kind of cover those up. So what I did with this one is I used the Waverly White Wax and added about half and half wax to just white paint to see if I could get it to be more of a white wax. So I put it on and I wipe it back. And just keep repeating that until I like how the coverage is of this wax. This, this terracotta pot, this one was from Italy. It was stamped that way. And there was a different smoothness. So the wax stayed on there different. So you just kind of play, have to play around with the product that you're using and um, see kind of most of it would wipe off. Just kind of the look I was going for. But if there was a spot that looked very sparse, you could go back over it and let it dry a little bit longer. And then this one right here is the DIY white wax. I'm going to say this is the one that went on the best. And uh, so far I'm loving how buttery smooth the DIY uh, white wax is. This one was also one from Italy and um, I really liked how it turned out. These redesigned transfers I got for quite a cheap price for three sheets. So I am going to go ahead and put these on these canisters and I would love to know um, in the comments below what your favorite look is. Do you like the white with the transfer? Do you like the terracotta look with a white wax over the top of it? Um, these transfers, basically you put them on and you use... These particular transfers did not come with a stick, but I had a stick from another um, kit. And you just kind of burnish them on until they come off and then you use, I use just the plastic backing to make sure it's all the way within all the ridges of whatever you're putting it in. So it's a, it's a very simple process and it up, upgrades your projects so quick with such little cost. So if you're on the fence about trying out a transfer, just give it a shot. It will totally pay off. The trick is just find one with a pattern you love and just might be hooked. I know I am. Next, I'm taking this $1.99 find 
and painting it green. And spoiler alert, I don't mute it. So I'm keeping it full fern green. And I kind of like how it turned out. So my idea for this little thrift store find is to have it be a home for our cell phones when we're having family time or dinner time or any time that kids friends come over etc where we want electronics to go take a little rest I thought this would be a cute little home and maybe even have a place for chargers to kind of I don't know maybe drill a hole in the back of the wood and have chargers kind of live in the back and they can be charged while they're there so I did two coats of this fern green. I did slight distressing with sandpaper. And then I did a clear coat of just cream wax so that it wouldn't rub off. And these are still from the same transfer pack. And because I'm going over a curve, I'm doing the front straight edge first. And then once that happens, just fold it over the edge. And, and rub that side on and it's quite a seamless process. Look at that. So I'm not going crazy with decals on this one. Green is already crazy enough for me, but this is the final result. What do you think? Is it worth $1.99 to have a little home for cell phones? So friends, that's it for this week's thrift flip video. Let me know in the comments below which project was your favorite, which one would you want to replicate, and will you look at these wine bricks or wine coolers different if you see them at the thrift store next time. Don't forget, you can put a glass jar inside one of these and water and put some real fresh cut flowers as well. So if this content is something that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe and like and give me a comment and even share with some of your friends that may like it too. Henry says bye and I'll see you guys next week.